Hello, viewers. Uh, today's topic is a dry mouth. So it's normal uh, to occasionally have a dry mouth if you are dehydrated or feeling nervous, you know. But uh, persistently dry mouth can be a sign of any underlying problem, you know. And uh, uh, you should see your doctor uh, if you have unusually dry mouth, known as exerostomia. Uh, you know, so exerostomia is uh, the medical name used for the dry mouth. Uh, so that uh, uh, your doctor can determine the cause of the, uh, this uh, persistent dry mouth, you know. Uh, dry mouth can occur when salivary glands in your mouth uh, don't produce uh, enough saliva, you know. And this is uh, uh, most of the time is a result of dehydration, which means that you don't have enough fluids in your body to produce the saliva and uh, 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 the quantity that you need, you know. And it's also common for the mouth to become dry if you are feeling anxious or if you are nervous, you know. Uh, so uh, a dry mouth can sometimes be caused by underlying problems or medications uh, such as uh, like uh, many different medications can cause dry mouth, uh, including like uh, antidepressants or antihistamines, you know, and diuretics as well, you know. And diuretics are the medic uh, medicines used to uh, produce more urine, in fact, to just uh, um, loose water, you know, so these are also known as the water pills, you know, uh, or the blocked nose, you know, so the breathing uh, through your mouth while you sleep can cause your dry mouth, you know, and diabetes is a lifelong condition that can cause person's blood sugar level to become too high, so uh, it can also cause a dry mouth, you know, uh, radiotherapy uh, is one of the other causes, you know, and uh, there are many other underlying conditions as well, you know. So uh, you need to treat the root cause so that's causing your mouth to dry, you know. Uh, now the saliva plays an important role in keeping your mouth healthy and uh, if you have dry mouth, you may experience a number of other problems uh, um, because of uh, this, you know, like uh, burning sensation or soreness in the mouth, you know, or dry lips or bad breath and uh, mouth infections such as uh, oral thrush, you know, or tooth decay and gum diseases, uh, difficulty in speaking, eating and swallowing because of the dry mouth, you know. Uh, so it's important to mean good oral hygiene just to get uh, rid of this uh, dry mouth, you know. Uh, if your doctor or dentist is able to determine what's uh, causing your dry mouth, so treatment uh, is uh, just to improve your symptoms, you know and uh, to address the underlying cause and for example if medication is suspected uh, that's causing the dry mouth so you should uh, uh, think about uh, to change those kind of medications or uh, you should consult your doctor for any alternative medicine medication you know you're using for that you know and uh, uh, the simple things that uh, you that could be helpful to uh, cope with these kind of conditions is uh, just uh, stay well hydrated you know so increase your fluid intake and um, like uh, uh, like the drink more water avoid alcohol stop smoking you know so this way you can uh, 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 treat uh, these are the home remedies you know so that uh, they are very helpful just to uh, treat the dry mouth you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information uh, about the dry mouth or any other medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com.